Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? This is your general love and life reading focused on the second half of January 2020. What I have in front of me are a couple of card decks that we're going to be using for the focus messages for this reading Sagittarius and then we'll go ahead and see how it ties all together with the rest of your reading. If you are interested in your own personal private reading at this time, Please access all of that information down below in the description box and I will also have a list of all of the card decks that I do use. And also guys, just as a side note, if you are interested in booking a reading with me, I am fully booked through January 20. All right guys, so let's get going. Let's see what messages need to come through here for your general reading this time around. We'll start off with messages from the angels and then we'll grab some messages from the energy oracle cards deck. All right, guys, so let's go. Let's see what's coming through. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. Please bring forward a focus message for the second half of January 2020. All right, guys, this could be for you, for cross watchers, anyone who's been guided to tune in. Let's grab this one. Angel Serena. This message reads, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So this is tied into your finances. If somebody owes you money, perhaps Sagittarius, that's on its way and you're being blessed with abundance from Angel Serena. That's fantastic. All right. And I really feel coming out of the holiday season, you know, we spend or overspend a lot during the holidays and that's the perfect time, I feel, for those of you who are expecting that money to come in. All right, so that's a particular message coming through for some of you. All right, so let's add to this with a message from the Energy Oracle Cards deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius. What else needs to come through here? All right, guys, let's add to this. Let's see what else. I'm guided to this one goddess of the moon okay so whenever we tap into the energy of the moon there are intuitions and illusions that are tapped into that it could be a very confusing time for some of you it's also tied into deception just somebody who is being dishonest with you hidden secrets lies darkness but there's also light that comes through from the energy of the moon there's always that light at the end of the tunnel okay so we'll see if the energies of the moon are tapped into the rest of the messages that come through in this reading for you sagittarius all right so let's add to this let's start off with the mystic moon oracles and then we'll go ahead and incorporate other card decks to this reading to see the full picture of what needs to come through here for you this time around so angels and spirit guides for sagittarius please second half of january 2020 what's going on there are signs that are trying to grab your attention at this time sagittarius so definitely pay attention to them and these are signs that are significant only to you and you personally there are many signs that each and every one of us could be receiving but for you whoever it is that you are focused on for this reading and if there's a particular sign that you're hoping to receive in regard to that pay attention to what's going on around you also in regard to life in general if you've been waiting for something or a particular sign from the universe, you just might receive it. If it's about love and romance, there is a union card coming through here. So if you are in separation from somebody at this time, Sagittarius, and you're heavily thinking about a potential union with them, it's coming through here. We do have the solitude card right after that. And I do typically tie into Divine Feminine Energy from that. It's also very similar energies from the Hermit card in Traditional Tarot, which is tapping into Virgo. So the person that you might be focused on for some of you is a Virgo. This is somebody who just wants to be left alone at this time. 
somebody who wants peace and quiet, somebody who wants to just listen to their heart and figure things out for themselves. So they are reflecting, they're reevaluating the situation, their heart space, their life. There's a lot going on internally with this person, Sagittarius. So if you happen to be divine feminine, Sagittarius, this could certainly be a part of your own vibration if you're very much in your thoughts right now about a particular problem that's overwhelming you because at this time you're just trying to go within and seek and find solutions to those problems. But interesting too because the hermit is all about people from the past that want to come back. And if you're in solitude, if you're in hermit mode thinking about this person you're in separation from, they might just come back because there is a potential to bridge those estrangements with that hermit card. So we'll see how that plays out in the rest of this reading. We do have the mute card though. So this is telling us you guys are not talking. You guys are not communicating more than likely at this time, Sagittarius. Perhaps the energy of the moon is represented through their silence. If somebody was being dishonest and or deceptive. Someone's working on themselves, reinventing themselves. This could certainly be your own energy, Sag, but it could also be the person that you're focused on. Someone's checking you out from a distance and or this is something that you're doing. Interesting. There's a lot of unexpressed emotions and feelings that I am tapping into here between you and this person, Sagittarius because they have a lot of questions and or you have a lot of questions still that are lingering here. So maybe that's why we're starting off with signs. And perhaps part of the reason why there's a question mark there is due to the darker aspects of the moon. Because there is deception and things that are hidden when the moon is represented. All right, so let's add to this. Let's try to uncover a little bit more here. So let's grab some messages from the Pining Rose Love Oracle by Calico Moon Oracle. This is by Amy from Calico Moon. And she was nice enough to gift me three of her card decks that she created. And this is one of them. So thank you so much, Amy. All right, guys, so let's see. Let's see what additional messages need to come through here. What's with all the questions? What's with the energy of the moon and somebody hitting that mute button and not wanting to talk? Somebody who is in solitude, just wanting to be alone at this moment. What happened here? Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know? Look at that. Someone is saying, I'm sorry. Be mine. Falling right below union. Whatever side of the fence you're on, Sagittarius, whether you're the one that's apologizing or the one who's receiving an apology, there's still a desire here to come back together. Some of you might be dealing with a karmic partner. It's falling right below solitude. And I feel the divine feminine in this equation was heavily impacted by that. And for those who are unfamiliar with a karmic partnership, it's somebody that doesn't respect those healthy boundaries between the two of you or in a partnership. They are very much in their own thought processes, focused on themselves, their self-interests, what it is that they want, what it is that they need. It can be abusive in nature. It could also be codependent. 
And look at this. This is not an accident. Spy and observer. Somebody is definitely keeping an eye on you, Sagittarius. And again, this could be reversed as well. This could be what you're doing from a distance as well. Or you guys might, might both be spying on each other. You're not talking, but you're still checking each other out. Most more than likely on social media. You guys may have known each other in a past life. And like I said, you guys want to come back together and rekindle the partnership. Rekindle that romance. These cards are falling in this order for a reason. So even though you're at a distance, you're in separation from one another, either they're checking you out still on social media, Sag, or this is something that you're both doing. But we have an apology here. I'm sorry. But I feel whoever this apology is directed towards Sagittarius, the other person is still not talking. So whether you've apologized to them or they've apologized to you, the conversation is still not happening. It's still not happening here. All right, so let's add some tarot to this. This is my fairy tarot deck by Radley Valentine. Let's take a look and see. Let's add to this. Angels and spirit guides focusing on Sagittarius for the second half of January 2020. What else do we need to know at this time? What else do we need to know for you, Sagittarius? But there's the potential to rekindle this. If you guys can actually start talking again, you can rekindle this. We do have the Prince of Winter which in this deck i believe is the page of swords this is somebody who's intellectual determined focused and impulsive in this particular deck it reads seek out an intellectual solution to your problem the need to act quickly and decisively sudden or unexpected changes I think I said Page of Swords. This could actually be the Knight of Swords. So this particular knight can certainly be very opinionated. They move quickly. This is tapped into air signs, so it could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So if you're dealing with an air sign, Sagittarius, they're trying to come up with a solution to this problem and i feel that's why we have that solitude card however way you're resonating with that or perhaps it's your person that it is representing we have the five of winter right after that which is the five of swords so we've got pretty heavy air energy coming through so far and as this card reads, walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. And I feel that's part of the energy of this goddess of the moon. And that's part of the sign that you're being given, possibly. Sagittarius could be tied into that karmic partner partnership. And I feel... If you are dealing with a karmic at this time, Sagittarius, they're still spying on you. They're still checking you out. And maybe there's a reason why we have a mute card there because you're not wanting to talk or engage in the connection. It might have been you that walked away from this relationship, Sag, or they walked away from you. Especially if somebody was being dishonest you know, whoever it was.
And that's why we have an apology here. I'm sorry. Somebody's sorry for what they've done here. We do have the King of Spring, which is the King of Wands in this deck. Somebody who's innovative, inspiring, wise, and theatrical. And this is all about a financial windfall. And it does say your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. So there might be somebody that comes in to your life, Sagittarius, that is supportive of the issues that you're dealing with in your life. Especially if you happen to be divine feminine. There might be a divine masculine or somebody that comes in sort of like a father figure. Somebody that's older than you that can come in and help you in regard to your finances and turns out to be a really good support system for you. This person could be an entrepreneur. This could be you as well. Wands is tied into your very own energy, as well as Leo and Aries, of course. We also have the Four of Spring. Four of Wands. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. Fantastic. So I feel here that for some of you who are able to rekindle this relationship, Sagittarius, things are actually really good. Because the, the Four of Wands is tapping into stability, harmony, a happy life, a happy home life, a happy marriage. We also have the Strength card coming through here. That Strength card is tied into Leo energy. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Absolutely. So in regard to your money matters, Sagittarius, for one thing, we already know from the focus message from the Angel of Abundance that you've got money coming your way. And now we've got the King of Spring coming through with a financial windfall. So money-wise, I feel possibly the second half of January could be really good for you. And those who are open and willing to accept an apology and rekindle the connection, I feel there's a potential that you guys can actually work this out. It's not for everyone because I feel there are those of you who walked away because this person was being dishonest. And I'm really feeling here that mute card is here because you're not interested in talking to them. So it depends really, Sag, on what side you're on, whether you're, you're open to rekindling the connection or if you just want to walk away from it once and for all and just move on. And perhaps those of you who just want to move on and walk away from this connection, you're really working very hard on yourself, your life, improving the quality of your life, whether that's tied into your finances, career, money matters, family, your health, your heart space, what's in your very soul as to what it is that you want to have in your life to find happiness and fulfillment in your life. And I feel you're working very hard at that if you truly are not interested in a rekindled romance because it's not for everybody. I'm going to grab one more. This is the Six of Autumn, which is the Six of Pentacles. Pentacles is Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for some of you. In this particular deck, it reads, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. There we go again. More money coming your way. Borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. And I feel here, since the Angel of Abundance message, you will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So I feel here you might have loaned somebody some money and it's coming back to you. So yay in regard to your money matters. That's fantastic. All right, so we want to focus right back to love and romance here, Sag, and let's take a look. Let's take a deeper look into 
what's happening with the romance angels. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know, please? In love and romance for Sagittarius. And for those of you who are not interested in rekindling a romance, it's potentially due to this karmic partnership that's standing in the way of that progress. All right, let's see what else. What else, please, for Sagittarius? Forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And I feel, again, those of you who are not interested in having this person come back into your life, you just want to be able to move on. You need to release and heal the past. It's in the past for a reason. And once that healing journey comes to completion, you'll be in a better space and in a better place in your heart, your mind, your soul. And I feel that is what some of you guys are working on. And look at this card. We've got deception. So very much tied into that goddess of the moon energy. So, And I feel for my Sagittarians who are resonating with this, you walked away from this individual who is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They were being deceptive with you and you picked up off of that or you discovered something and so you don't want to talk to them anymore. But in your heart space, you know that you deserve love. You are a lovable person, especially my divine feminines. I do tap into divine feminine energy from this card. As you can see, she is holding that Cupid's arrow, as I like to interpret that. And she's ready to shoot that arrow towards the person that is deserving of it. So if you happen to be divine feminine, I do feel when you're ready you'll be able to shoot that Cupid's arrow towards the person that you are wanting. And of course, those who are open to rekindling the relationship, whenever you're ready, shoot that arrow. This is what's needed. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Keyword there is honestly. No more deception, no more lies. Just tell each other exactly what it is that you need to say. Get it all out on the table. Get it off your chest and just say what you got to say. And that's what's going to continue the healing process between the two of you. And if you can actually overcome the challenges, then that opens up the way for you guys to come back together. We also have playfulness. And I feel when you guys are together, Sagittarius, between you and this person, you guys have a really good time with one another. Wonderful conversations, lots of laughter, joking around, just enjoying each other's company, truly. All right, let's continue. Let's see what else we can add to this, but there's a reason why that moon card came through. All right, let's add some lover's oracle to this. Sagittarius, let's see what else needs to come through for this reading. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius for the second half of January 2020. Please bring it forward. There's that one. Let's grab the bottom of the deck. Whoa. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. For those who are going within and just trusting your intuition, you're about to manifest these miracles in your life. Whether it's tied into your love life, some other aspect of your life, Sagittarius, your dream is soon to become reality. And for some of you, it is a rekindled romance. Beautiful. Next message. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Isn't that the truth? So you got to ask yourself, if you could do anything at this time, what would it be? Is it to reach out to someone? Is it to apologize? 
Is it to walk away once and for all? It's up to you. Continue that reinvention if you're working on yourself at this time. All right, guys. So I wanted to grab some dialogue messages to really tap further into what your person is thinking and also what it is perhaps that you want to say to this individual Sagittarius. So let's grab some messages from the 5D Love Messages Oracle deck by Amy from Calico Moon. This is another deck that I was gifted and I love it. So let's take a look. Let's grab a few messages from this deck and whichever one you are guided towards, accept the messages that you are resonating with. This could either be from your person, Sag, or from you. So let's see. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius. Who needs to speak up here? Perhaps you both need to speak up. Who needs to speak up here? We do need those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, so let's, let's start the conversation. What needs to come through here, Sagittarius, for this reading? Angels, please bring it forward. There we are. Look at that. We have unfinished business. Yes, you do. They're still thinking about you. Somebody's still spying on you or you're both, again, spying on each other. We do have two cards here that are pretty much the same type of energy. Spying and observing from a distance. In the dark. With questions in front of their laptop. So whoever is doing that and again i'm feeling both of you might look at this next message i still have hope that we will be together absolutely that's coming through for some of you you feel that this person is yours in your heart you still feel that they are yours be mine and the potential to come back together is here to rekindle the romance, rekindle the partnership, the relationship. This is coming through for some of you. I feel like you're ignoring me. And that's because somebody is either doing the ignoring or you're the one that's ignoring them, Sagittarius. So they're picking up off of it if you are ignoring somebody. Maybe they've contacted you to apologize. Maybe they sent you a text or called you and said, I'm sorry and they haven't heard back from you, that's because of that mute card. Look at this next card. Do you think about me too? For those of you guys who are on the same page and are wanting this person back, you both think about each other. And there are those of you that I'm sure will resonate with this next one. You left me out in the cold. Somebody walked away. That's a part of the energy of that five of winter. Walk away from dishonest associations. So if they feel that they've been left down in the cold, you know, for some of you guys, I can almost hear you saying it's like, oh, well, you deserved it. Look at this next message. There is no accident to these cards falling in the, the way that they are. Okay, third reference. I'm keeping tabs on you. Yeah, we already know that observer keeping tabs on you and we have a spy okay so it's it's really coming forward with that message that they're keeping tabs on you you're keeping tabs on them holy moses let's grab one more i miss our conversations It's time to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And oh my God, I just glanced at the next message, so I have to show you guys. Look at this. I wasn't completely honest with you. Yeah, well, no shit, right? That's why we've got deception, okay? And the goddess of the moon taps into deception, dishonesty, lies and it, it's come forward you know they're telling you i wasn't completely honest with you but we already knew that didn't we that somebody was being dishonest 
but now they're actually fessing up to it. That's the difference. Maybe it took distance from you, Sag, for them to finally realize, oh God, you know, why did I do that? Why couldn't I just be honest? Because now I may have lost somebody that I really care for and love and I know that I messed up, blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole thing, the whole internal dialogue of what somebody says when they know they messed up. All right. Well, let's add to this with some signs from Spirit, Love Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius, please. For the second half of January 2020. But yeah, there's a lot of synchronicities going on in this reading, especially tied into somebody who's still keeping an eye on you, Sag, from a distance. And I can't help but pick up off of your own vibrations that you're doing the same thing. All right, let's see. What else? What else do we need to know here? Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. Aroma, memories. So whenever they catch a whiff of perhaps a cologne or a perfume that is associated to you, Sagittarius, it brings them right back. Those memories of when you guys were together, if you guys were intimate, they still smell you, that type of thing. They love your scent. That could be reversed or that could be mutual. We do have feathers of protection here. That's for me, angelic protection the angels are watching out for you you know and it's interesting how we've got where's that card i'm keeping tabs on you okay and we already have the spy we've got the observer and i'm also feeling that the angels are keeping tabs on you sagittarius that's because they're making sure to protect you, to watch out for you, to make sure that you're on the right path, to make sure that you pay attention to the signs that are coming through for you, to help you get onto the right path in your life. And if that path is to walk away from someone, they're watching out for you as well. You're blessed. You do have the energy of that rainbow and renewal. Part of that renewal for some of you, is tied into a reconciliation with the one you love. Beautiful. I really love that. Okay. So let's add to this with some healing messages. Sagittarius. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. Please bring forward healing messages for Sagittarius at this time for the second half of January 2020. All right. What have we got? Spiritual growth, ideas and inspiration, and I'm guided to pull the dreams card, okay? So where's that card feathers and protection as i mentioned you're blessed you are definitely being looked after by the angels and however way life has played itself out in your love life and life in general you've grown from it and your faith has been compromised there were issues that you dealt with where trust was broken and I feel it helped you mature. It helped you to appreciate the direction that your life has gone and to bring you to where you are today because this is a brand new year. This is a time of growth to learn from where you've been so that you can learn from those mistakes and not repeat them. And that is a part of your spiritual growth, I feel. This is also the year to manifest your ideas, whatever it is that you have been inspired by. Go for it, Sagittarius. It could be a new job. It could be a new project that you have wanted to partake in. This is the year to not procrastinate and to 
hesitate from making those dreams happen. Go for it. Dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to these signs. Because sometimes our dreams are, our dreams are definitely trying to communicate something to us. So if you are an intuitive individual, naturally, perhaps you're tapped into your dreams and what it's trying to tell you. This could also be representing whatever it is that you are dreaming about at this time. Whether, again, it's money matters, improved finances, improved situations in your life, your health, your love life, whatever it is. You have the power to be able to bring these dreams to the surface and to turn them into reality. All right, so let's close out your reading, Sagittarius, with some final messages from the Guardian Angels. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius, please. Some final thoughts for Sagittarius for the second half of January. That one wants to fly out. And let's grab this bottom of the deck. We have a breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. Oh man. Sagittarius, if you have, again, been dreaming of manifesting something, make this the year. Make this the year. Stop talking about it and just do it already. Even if you're afraid, even if you're afraid you're going to fail, you know, the worst thing you can do is to not try. Make it happen. We also have patience coming through here. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust you are eternally loved and guided. Yes, you are. As I mentioned, the angels are watching out for you. They're guiding you onto the right path in your life, Sagittarius. And, you know, that takes time to be able to manifest things that could make such a huge impact in your love life and life in general. So just hang in there and allow life to unfold the way it is meant to. I can't say that enough in my readings because we can't rush the process. You know, it's like we want what we want when we want it, but that's not always the case for the universe to just drop everything and move mountains for you and just give you what it is that you want. Sometimes it takes time to receive what you need rather than what you want. And sometimes what you need and what you want are the same things and the universe just aligns itself to bring you what it is that you've been dreaming about. So give it some time. All right, Sagittarius, beautiful reading. And I feel here for those of you who are open to rekindling a connection with somebody, there's a potential here for that to happen. And there are those of you who have walked away working on yourself, just wanting a new beginning elsewhere in your life. And that is your prerogative. And I do feel the angels are watching out for you to make sure that you are headed in the right direction this time. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave it. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And just a reminder again, guys, that I am fully booked through January 20th. And I'll be back real soon with more readings for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. And I will see you next time. Take care.